yes friends i am going to continue the model of the series today i am taking why we can use wood as a modeler we use wood with this habit determination Polite request, conditional. We have to see the students. If the sentence shows wish, we use modal verb would. Not any other modal verb you can use. If you are going to use any other uh, any other modal except this, you will not be given any marks. Which is such a Chinese English currency would be used. Dear students, I am going to give some examples. The first example is dash that I wear rich and there is a mark, exclamation mark at the end of sentence. And dear students, you see here, the where is used with I in similar subjects. If it's used with similar subjects, means it shows wish. And the model verb we use here, model verb, dear students, would. Means the FMS where as in the word, dear students. And ended with this mark, we use model verb would. The second example, die that. She wear a wood. Dad that he wear here. Wood. The fourth one is dear students. I wish he dash come. I wish he would come. And the fifth example is I dash like. To know what you want. I would like to know. Yes, friends, yeah, sentence must like as you would use. And if you are asked to use a model word, you have to use would. Not any other model word you can use. We use would. And now, a habit. This is going to have to stay. Yes, friends, have to search as like a mood, but the mood formal is used. You see, my mood formal one. Yes, students, I am going to clear you. If you visit the shop, you have to buy a soup. There are so many soups. And one soap is that the poor quality, another is that you can see the good quality, standard quality of soap, and both are soaps. Dear students, which soap you will buy at that time? The soap which is poor quality, that is also a soap, and the soap which is of a standard quality, that is of a soap. Which you will prefer to buy? Definitely, you will prefer to buy which is having the students a standard quality. Same is the case here, the students. If you use wood with head, you will be given marks. But better to use their students, use it. He dash. Sit for hours at the shop. He would, but the more formal is he used to sit for hours at the shop. 
one more example. She dash dance. Yes, it also shows that she would dance, but the more formal is she used to dance. Sometimes, if it comes in this way, he dash to sing. If the infinitive is given, dear students, then you can't use would. If there is not given infinitive, it is up to you. Either you, you can use would or use it to, but I am going to say the more formal is use it to. But in the third, the infinitive is given. When the infinitive is given, it shows habit here. Dear students, I am going to clearly. If the sentence we dare to respect our teachers, there is also use of infinitive. But dear students, in that sentence, that shows duty or obligation. It does not show duty or obligation, it shows habit. If the twice go with you, yes, habit how it is gonna use user to he user to. I am going to clearly every sentence I put this means you dash to respect your parents. Yeah, much more to use. But you have to see what the sentence expresses. In the first one, it expresses habit. In the second one, it expresses obligation or duty. And the express it expresses obligation or duty, we use their students. Art. You are to respect. You must be careful. You have to see what the sentence what the sentence expresses. Whether it expresses habit or obligation or duty. If it expresses habit, you have to use user. If it expresses it an obligation or duty, yes, you have to use art. Dear students, now the determination. I dash prefer death to dishonor. It shows determination, dear students. We use wood. I dash rather die than bad. Yes, we have to rather the then as you do. That means this would be our more I would rather die than that. Both the sentence show determination. And there is one more that is polite test. If the sentence shows polite test, we use model or wood. But this one's meaning is we can. Would, could. The more formal is the assurance. Could. If the polite request has, the more a second will to use it, a second can to use it, a second would to use it, a second could to use it in writing. In writing. But when you are speaking to someone, it depends upon the situation, dear students. As for the situation, you have to use. Yes, yeah, dear students, with or can, you can use with a person, he or she is of your age. If a person is above your age, dear students, it is better to use could than or would. Dear students, for example, dash you help me. Dash you show me the way to the bus station. Show me the way to the bus station. We use better to use code. It is more formal. Yes, this code is more formal. Impartial man, 
this looks good. Done, dear students. Then, tensional. Tensional, dear students, you must be conjunction as you know, use. Yeah, and sometimes you see unless. Unless. That means it's used in a dear students' way. Yeah, and with negative mood. Yeah, mood. Yeah, wouldn't. It's just you see the colors which begins with this injection or unless to me such as term use dear students. So when is this colors will tell us if you work hard, you dash for the exam. Dear students, if the class was first form was used, then it says use can I give or meet. You can use your usual for the exam. Unless you work hard, you dash for the exam. Unless you work hard, if it is also a con uh, conditional conjunction, dear students. And unless you work hard, you won't pass. If it comes you dash pay, you dash pay, then we use you will pay. Unless you work hard, you won't pass the exam. Unless you work hard, you will pay. Dear students, one is negative, another is positive, but the meaning is same. Only the difference in the uh, is in their structure, dear students. One is negative, another is positive, but the meaning is same. If you work hard, you dash for the exam. Dear students, if class was a second part, if you work hard, Second bar minus if class was used, then it is used can I would you would pass the exam. Thank you. I am going to continue this topic tomorrow.